Whistling Past the Graveyard is a story of a young girl in Mississippi in 1963 who has worked at finding her place in the world. It's a story of her journey along with a, a black woman that she teams up with to take a physical journey to find her mother. It's a coming of age story and it's a story that is told entirely through Starla, the nine-year-old girl's point of view. And I think that's what makes it unique. It is her nine-year-old perception of uh, the greater world around her, particularly in Mississippi in 1963. The title, Whistling Past the Graveyard, actually came up inside the book when I was writing it. It exemplifies exactly Starla's personality. It's how she deals with coping with things around her that are uncomfortable. She is more in your face and she, and she whistles past the danger, she whistles past the uh, confrontations that have to come. The South in, my, in the novel is definitely a character of its own. Um, I adore the South. I adore the history of the South, the people that live there, the small towns. I grew up in a small town, so I, I really identify with it, and I do miss that a lot of our small towns are losing their individuality. The main thing I would like people to take away when they close that book and have finished it is, uh, I hope they love this character as much as I do. Mm -hmm.